Welcome back everyone. Uh, today I'm going to make remake or review of a Calico M100. Okay. But before we begin, don't forget to like and subscribe if you new. If you're returning viewer, please like the video. And both of you are returning or new viewer, if you're interested to become a member of the channel, you can uh, read the perks here. Uh, but remember, uh, for the tier 2 member on the live chat, uh, it's difficult for me now to do live streaming on YouTube yet because my internet cannot handle it. So I guess uh, if you buy tier 2, you, maybe on social media, I can connect with you. Uh, Twitter, I have Twitter. And uh, for member, member on the live chat, uh, I think you, you will not get that in the... Uh, near future yet okay we will see about that but you will not get it okay so yeah let's begin let's read a little bit information about calico m100 okay so it it was a blowback operated semi-automatic rifle chambered in 22 long range long rifle so 22 lr lr okay so it's long rifle, not long range. I mistakenly say uh, long range. Okay, so it was a rim fire. So there's a two different type of round, a rim fire and a center fire. Okay, so 22 LR is a rim fire. Okay, it was designed in 1980s. Uh, not very clear about that. Uh, Manufactured by Calico Light Weapon System. Okay. It was from Oregon. Oregon or Oregon, whatever. It's America in America. Okay. It have a 50 to 100 round magazine. Okay. So let's begin. Uh, without uh, further ado, let's begin. Okay. Oh, I forgot. I almost forgot. As usual. Uh, why I'm clicking that? Sorry. Okay, the stock. I mean, for a stock. Okay, as you can see here. Let's reload. Uh, when reloading happened, it's very simple. There's a magazine catch here in the left and the right. Okay, when you're reloading, you press, you press this side. Okay, press this, and uh, it, 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 it will disconnect from the magazine right here. So you press that point, uh, forward, uh, front point, and it will allow the magazine catch to disconnect from the magazine, allowing it to be removed. Also remember, it was uh, like two point here, magazine catch. So left and right, so you have to press both sides like that to allow the magazine to be removed. And also here, right there, there's a notch here, a, a notch here that allow you like to align them, align the magazine uh, front end cap with the frame to have it perfectly set. So now let's begin a review of the firing mechanism. So the firing mechanism is very simple. As you can see here, sorry about that. As you can see here, uh, the magazine, uh, the, the firing mechanism is a semi-automatic, a single fire. Okay, so let's begin. It's very simple. You just pull the trigger, trigger pad and the trigger. You pull the trigger, pushing the sear on at this point, allowing it to rotate and make the sear uh, disconnect from the, disengage the hammer, allowing the hammer to fall and hitting the firing pin. The firing pin hitting the rim of the 22 LR ammunition. Firing it like that. 
Then the ball back happen. The ball back push back the ball. The ball pushing down the hammer. Now you see, now you still uh, the trigger is still being pulled, so the sear cannot catch the hammer, but this connector will catch it, holding it in position until the ball uh, pushing the round into the chamber, locking it, and then you release the trigger. You see here. The sear pushing down the disconnector. Disconnector disengage the hammer. The hammer being captured by the sear here. Now everything back in position, ready for firing the next round. And this is the same mathematic, very simple. Okay, the system continue like that. Okay. Okay, so that's the mechanism. There's nothing really. Uh, difficult about it it's 1980 design so now the safety i have a problem here with the safety because the safety pin here holding the trigger i rather prefer in my opinion this the safety pin the safety pin here holding the hammer because if you doing it like this and then this thing fall accident could happen that make this uh, sear to disengage the hammer and then round is being fired uh, like uh, out of not out of battery like a uh, misfire that could be dangerous so i rather have this safety pin here holding the hammer than the trigger i mean the safety pin i rather have the safety pin holding the hammer rather than the trigger okay so that's the firing mechanism here remove the safety now let's review the the magazine because people probably interested with the magazine so the magazine have this uh, have this spring drive that connected to the spline driver okay we just control this fluted cartridge carrier here so every uh, so the magazine was in tension. So when you fire around, the fluted cartridge carrier here will rotate. Okay. I'm sorry about that. Uh, so every time you fire the round, the fluted the fluted cartridge carrier here will rotate because it was uh, unwinding. Okay, so this, so this, uh, this part here. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm gonna check. Okay, I'm I'm live. Okay, so this spleen spleen the driver here connected with the magazine compression spring. Okay, and then the spring right here. So as you can see, the spring drive here rotating every time you fire the round. You see this notch here. This is this is the part that connected to the fluid cartridge carrier, making it rotating. Okay, because every time you fire around, the spring drive is unwind. Okay, so it's uh, the mechanism is simple like that. If you basically using the spring drive to keep pushing, uh, to keep rotate the uh, keep rotating to keep uh, the the fluid cartridge carrier to be rotating to unwind. Okay. So like this. Basically rotating all the way until the time is empty and the magazine is empty. Okay. Also, this is the follower here, so just like normal magazine. Well, it's not normal magazine, it's a tube magazine uh, using rotation of the cartridge carrier rather than follower and then the what you call the spring, like a normal magazine in the pistol or rifle. So I have video making comparison between Calico M M one hundred magazine compared to a, I'm sorry, 
to convert to uh, PP90 PP90 Bison, okay, the Russian one. So the comparison is very simple. In in Calico M100, this core is the one that rotating, while in uh, PP90 uh, Bison, it was the outer layer that rotating like this. Uh, Outer, outer shell here this outer shell is the one that rotating and pushing the round okay so that's the, the that's the difference so I, I hope you understand the magazine mechanism is very simple you're just making this cartridge carrier rotating okay and this follower to be keep rotating uh, the round into the fit lips here and for the round to be fast so the mechanism is very simple. Okay, for its for the design is very simple. Okay, why well, I'm slowing it down? Okay, so yeah, uh, I guess nothing else to explain here. Except for the scope here. Okay, I think in this. Uh, stock uh, scope mount here making it uh, a hassle to reload i think in my opinion okay the mounted optic scope firing okay this is uh, the front side post just like that like that uh, hollow side. Okay. Oh, okay. There's a transparent question here. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is nice. Okay. Uh, okay. Yes, that's it. This is the barrel shrub. Wasn't this in Star Wars or something? I think I remember. But yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, how about unloading? For unloading, it's very simple. Okay, as you can see, this is the bolt handle here. Unloading. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.